These data provide us a 30-year picture of the rates of unintended pregnancy and abortion worldwide and across the major regions. Let's take a look at the major headline findings. If we compare the rates of unintended pregnancy for two five-year time blocks, 1990-94 and 2015-2019, what do we see? We see that the rates of unintended pregnancy declined across all the major regions of the world, suggesting that over the last 30 years, more women and girls than ever before have been able to space and limit their pregnancies. If we look at the data for abortion for the same time period, the picture is mixed. We see that in four regions of the world, abortion rates have decreased, but in other places, rates have increased. The most noticeable evidence of a trend can be seen in North America and Western Europe, where we see that abortion rates have declined by as much as 63% over this time period. Contrary to what one might expect, abortion rates did not decline in areas where abortion is legally restricted. In fact, the lowest rates of abortion were seen in high-income countries with broadly legal access to abortion. Ultimately, the only way to achieve reductions in the rates of unintended pregnancy and abortion are to adopt a comprehensive approach to meeting the sexual and reproductive health needs of women and girls, an approach that encompasses access to safe and affordable contraception, to sexuality education, and to safe abortion and post-abortion care.